What is up, ladies and gentlemen of Rory's channel? My name is Alex Wood, also known as Paul said 85 and I'm filling in for Rory while he takes care of some personal business. Uh, my channel will be in the link in the description down below, and I hope you'll come subscribe because I make a lot of good content. Let's get to the video. Last week, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, white nationalists, and KKK members held a Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. So basically a bunch of Republicans had a meeting. On Friday night, they marched with torches and chanted the Nazi slogan, Blood and Soil, along with other racist chants. A group of counter-protesters were there, and they were completely surrounded by the Nazis. On Don't get me wrong, what those guys were chanting was awful, and what they did wasn't good. But of course the counter-protesters were in the, like, surrounded by the... Nazis. They were in the middle of their protest. On Saturday, the Nazis and the counter-protesters showed up again. This time, the Nazis shouted homophobic things like, fuck you, faggot. And while that's an awful thing to say and something I completely condemn, it's not like they don't have the right to say it. Many of them were carrying shields, guns, confederate flags, and Nazi flags. Then, one of them drove his car into a crowd of counter-protesters, injuring 19 people and killing one. Heather Heyer was murdered by a Nazi during a Nazi rally as she fought against racism and white supremacy. And that's heartbreaking. And what that guy did was unforgivable and unbelievably cruel. And I hope he spends the rest of his life locked up for it. Immediately afterwards, Trump failed to condemn the Nazis by name. Instead, he blamed the violence on many sides. And I've seen a lot of people echoing that sentiment. When you talk about the murder of Heather Heyer, someone pops up and says, What about the violence that Black Lives Matter and anti-fascists have caused? But Trump was right. The Unite the Right rally was a response to Black Lives Matter and Antifa rallies. And while it is unexcusable, you are right. There was a difference between that car attack and what typically happens at a Black Lives Matter rally. That car attack was relatively tamed, considering what normally happens at Black Lives Matter rallies. But the problem with that is that it's drawing a false equivalence. Violence is inherent to Nazi ideology. The belief that white people are superior and that they have to take back their country from people of color, that ideology gets people of color killed. There is no way to peacefully be a white supremacist. What about someone that just says, I'm white, I feel I'm superior to black people, but then doesn't try to kill a black person? Don't get me wrong, I think white supremacy is wrong, but there are plenty of white supremacists that don't want to kill black people. And trust me, I'm from Georgia. I know a couple. The very nature of the ideology is violent and harms people of color. Black Lives Matter, on the other hand, is an organization that states very specifically that its goals are to end violence and discrimination against black people. Hey, hey, <laughs> official website says, Black Lives Matter is working for a world where black lives are no longer systematically and intentionally targeted for demise. That is completely antithetical to the purpose of white supremacists. They are not two sides of the same coin. Nazis believe in white superiority and in the eradication of people of color. Black Lives Matter believes in black people being treated fairly and equally in society. Our well, that might be what they claim to stand for, but their actions are certainly speaking louder than their words. Especially when you can't hear about a Black Lives Matter protest without hearing about such and such white person who showed up to support them got the shit kicked out of them for being white. Are there people who commit violence and claim association with Black Lives Matter? Yeah, sometimes. But those people do not represent the organization. They don't act in the values of the Black Lives Matter organization. In any large enough group, someone will commit violence. What matters is if that group's ideology promotes that violence. Then why do you defend Islam and claim it's the religion of feminism and it's the religion of peace and the religion of Black Lives Matter when in reality, if an ISIS terrorist approached you, you would be killed for being a transgender woman. 2016, when a black man shot and killed five white police officers, the Black Lives Matter movement immediately condemned it and said that they call for an end to violence. But after Heather Heyer was killed, Chris Cantwell, one of the leaders of the Unite the Right rally, said that her murder was justified. In fact, in 2014, when two police officers were murdered, Cantwell said that their deaths were good news. Well, it sounds like this Chris Cantwell guy can go to hell. But what's that got to do with anything? During the Unite the Right rally, he said, We are not non-violent. We'll fucking kill these people if we have to. And afterwards, he said, A lot more people are gonna die before we're done here, frankly. But what I don't get is, this whole thing should be a field day for liberals to attack the right. But they're not. They're taking this moment to defend Black Lives Matter. Look, Black Lives Matter is at a point now that the people who support it are going to support it, and the people who hate it are gonna hate it. You were handed 
the opportunity to slam the right on a silver platter, and you have been too stupid to take it. But the Black Lives Matter movement has always been nonviolent and has always called for an end to violence. <laughs> Did I miss a meeting? When did calling for dead police officers become nonviolent? Oh wait, the moment it stopped fitting your agenda. Beyond who condemns what though, you can't look past the fact that the goals of white nationalism impede on the rights of other people. They want a white ethnostate. That means forcibly deporting or killing millions of people of color. They quite literally advocate genocide. There's no way to do that peacefully. You know, I actually agree with you here. Therefore, we should make sure we don't end up with a white ethno state. It's very simple. It would be incredibly hard for them to overthrow the government to create it. But I will say this. Violence against fascists is not the same as violence used by fascists. And Bullshit. Violence is violence. And violence against anyone is wrong. I understand that there are are plenty of circumstances where you might need to use violence against someone to defend yourself, but that's completely different. You cannot beat someone up to prove a point. You can argue all day that words are not violence, but the Holocaust didn't pop up out of nowhere. It started with words. It started with the vilification of certain marginalized groups, and then it grew. The Riley, for the love of God, words are not violent. If I say, you're a dumb bitch. That's not violence. If I hit you with a baseball bat and I break your arm, that's violence. Very simple distinction. A fourth grader could figure this out. In terms of large-scale societal violence, fighting fascism is self-defense. It is violence, but it is violence meant to protect marginalized people. Alright, I got an idea. For the most part, people who claim to be fascists and who you claim are fascists are mostly using their words. So how about, instead of these protests where you break cities and burn shit to the ground, you use your words. Debate. Argue. Fight. Fight with the mouth, like you fight with your friends or with your cousins or with your partners or whatever. And use your words to sort it out instead of just destroying things because you're unhappy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I want to give a big thank you to Rory for having me on his channel. Thank you, buddy. It's, a, it's been a great honor to fill in for you. And like I said, my link will be in the description down below, down below, down in the description bar. Uh, and I hope if you like this video, you'll come check me out because uh, I do a lot of stuff like this. I'm very sarcastic. I'm very sassy. It's, uh, it gets interesting. So I hope to see you guys there soon. Take care.